Over the last couple of years, we've talked a lot about the pandemic impact on student learning, and tonight we've got another example of how far children have fallen behind. New math and reading scores came out today for fourth and eighth graders. Jenny Runovich shares the results. Indiana's test results really reflect a nationwide trend, steep declines in both math and reading. It all has Indiana education leaders working to redouble efforts to get kids back on track. In what's dubbed the nation's report card, the grades for 2022 aren't good. Startling stats for our kids in fourth and eighth grades. Scores on the National Assessment of Educational Progress plummeted across the country in math and reading, the largest drop ever in almost every state and school district. It is hard to see the student learning decline. Indiana education leaders weren't surprised to see a decline considering COVID's impact on student learning, but the unprecedented fallout from the pandemic may have been even worse than expected. Since the last test in 2019, the average fourth grade math score decreased by five points. Average eighth grade math score down eight points, the lowest level since the early 2000s. Reading scores in both grades fell around three points nationwide. In Indiana, scores are down sharply too, though not as low as some other states. We as a state score above average in mathematics in grades fourth and eighth grade. Um, in reading, we were right at national average. Usually, we score above national average in both of those content areas and grade levels. All right, turn your listening ears up. To reverse the troubling trend, Indiana is investing in new programs, literacy coaches to help teachers better teach reading. What color did his shoes turn? Red! In 50 oh schools this year, more than 600 next year. Plus, Indiana Learning Lab online with resources for teachers and families. And just this month, Indiana Learns started to help parents pay for tutoring. Which is focused on high dosage tutoring for math and reading for our students who need it the most. All to make sure students' most basic skills get back on track. Now, if you'd like to check out the math and reading scores for your school district, we have a link with this story on WTHR.com along with those resources for tutoring help.